today i gonna demonstrate page scrolling effects and in which we will demonstrate page piling let's see the demo of that here is the demo once you scroll that the second slide will be a fixed until the second will be come up so this is the effect called page piling and we are setting up that in elementor so let's jump into the back end Before we are jumping into the backend, you must know you need to create the Elementor templates, which you can do from the templates, save templates, and add new. In a add new, you need to select a section, you need to enter a name of template, and you can create a template. All those templates created will be used in this effect. So let's go to the backend. First of all, you have you need. page scroll widget which is available in the plus addons you can find out by searching over here page scroll and this widget is used to over here in that widget you have option for the full page page piling and multi scroll in a page piling you have three contents right now that means there are total three slides in each slide you can select one template which you have created from here in elementor that means we have total 3 slides over here and we have three templates in a back end you might see a little bit bugs but in a front end it will totally fine because of the js the back end might have bit sluggy when you are scroll to previous and next now in item you can select the template and you need to select a slide id This slide ID will be useful if you want to use front page scroll navigation. This is the widget made in the plus addons and which have lots of different and unique features which you can connect in your page piling effects. We have created and we have connected one over here. So let's see. You can see the scroll navigation widget over here. if you can't find you just need to type scroll navigation you will find out the widget you just need to drag and drop and in that you need to mention two things first of all you need to connect id the same id you need to put in extra options for just a moment Yes, those options are available in the dots in a scroll navigation connection. If you want to connect this, then you need to put your dots or that connection ID over here. If you turn it off, and if you turn normal dots, you will see the dots over here. Those are the very basic, but if you want a creative one, you need to use the scroll navigation connection, and you need to connect that with the carousel ID. this carousel id will make a connection just with the widget and after that you need to make a connection with each slide for that in a scroll navigation widget in item 1 you have to put a section id this is the slide 1 this is the slide 2 you can put whatever name you want but you need to make sure each item and each id connect with the page scrolls widget like from here you can see the slide 1 slide 2 and slide 3 that way you can connect both after that you have a next previous button option in the next previous you have different styles and custom as well you can adjust its gap you can see the next previous over here let's change its position bottom left left center you can put whatever the direction you want you can adjust its position after that you have option for the offset right offset top and the text option for that button you can change the style to see the different options and cosmetic options for that so let's keep style 3 for now then you have option for the page in it that you can see on a right top but let's make it right center so you can see that in that you have option to change the pagination style that means 
once you scroll this number active number will change with the different effects so you can see that from this style option then you have option for the offset after that in an extra option you have a direction option for a vertical or the horizontal you can adjust keyboard scrolling scrolling speed loop bottom loop top loop bottom and loop top is when you scroll it will be a like an infinite loop then you can disable responsive in tablet and in the mobile if you turn this off in a tablet or mobile you can easily buy using these options in a style tab you have option for the dot and there are cosmetic and typography options so you can check out in a dot this is the color for the normal and for the active condition then you have option for the tooltip but if you are using a page scroll scroll navigation widget then their options are available here and we already made a different video for a scroll navigation widget so you can check it out in our youtube channel now let's go back to the page scroll in that you also have a next previous cosmetic and typography options and in this particular you will see the next color and previous color both the colors and typography are different so you can change the font family font size everything for both the options and which is available for the normal and the four condition after that you have options for a paginated style which is typography and the color again those are the different for the both so you can make more creative layouts so these are the options for the page piling keep crafting amazing websites see you in the next video